welcome to the tip of the day. So you have a used car, you're looking for a used car, and you want to know if it's been in an accident. So nothing's reported on Carfax or any of the VIN platform, VIN reporting platform. So what should you look for? So let's focus on three things. And this is just appearance. So no mechanical, just strictly appearance. So you can look for the gap in the door, look for the texture, and you can look for shades of the panels, the comparative shades of the panel. So what I mean by gap is when two panels meet, so I don't like to use the doors with like a fender and a, and a hood. So when they come together, there should be a consistent gap where these two panels meet. Um, if this one, say for instance, the hood is higher than the fender or the fender is higher than the hood, that may be an indication that some body work is going, taking place. Uh, you have some things happen with the bumpers where it may have been taken off or put back on and you know, bumpers get snatched and bump hit things all the time. And so that may not be a major indication that the accident is there, but, um, but you, if it's inconsistent, there's, there's, no, there's not a consistent gap where the body two panels meet, that may be an indication something happened, and something happened there. The shade, what I mean by shade is, for instance, you have these two doors. So if this one is original and this one has been painted, this one may be darker, or the paint shop didn't match the paint correctly, it may have gotten, gotten it off a little, the mixture off a little bit, so it may be a little darker or lighter. This compared to the rest of the car, so you basically want to look at the whole car, and if it one panel or a couple, few panels look different than maybe the rest of the car, that may be an indication that it, it, it may have been painted. I've seen cars where, where the door is painted and it was a completely different color, in this case it's red, so it's just a completely different color of red than the rest of the car. Uh, it wasn't even the same red at all. It wasn't like it was just a darker shade, it was just not the same. So things like that, um, but basically you'll have where this car, the older paint is just, it's, it's been in the sun, so it's just lighter than the original, the original color. So just over time, it just gets lighter from the sun. Uh, you know, the painter may not have matched it correctly. The other thing you want to look for is texture. So when you look at paint, most of us typically, it looks smooth to, to us, to the eye, untrained eye. So that's what you want to look for. So if it looks fairly smooth, consistently, then you see a panel that looks a little wavy, it's heavy texture. Uh, we call it orange peel. So if you see that heavy texture, that's an indication that, that the panel, for instance, this door may have been painted because the texture is a little bit heavier than the front door. So you can just, these are just things, if you're in the right lighting, you can see it, it just, it usually jumps. If, if it's a good paint job, you may not be able to tell. If I've had my truck painted, and if I didn't tell you which panels were painted, you wouldn't know. So, so the, a great paint job, when it comes out of the shop, you'll never know. Uh, but there's some other things you can look at uh, with, the, with the paint job, the profile of the paint job. There may be some imperfections in the paint where the door, where the panel's been painted, that gives you an indication of what we call divots and nibs and stuff that may have not been removed. So just things like that. So it just it just doesn't look right. So things like that. Um, just a bonus, one of the tools I like to use is a paint thickness gauge. And it's just like it, as the name says, it measures the thickness of the paint. Now, it doesn't tell me how much paint color, it measures all the paint from the, from the primer to the color to the clear color. So in this case I have 4.3 mils. So they're different scales, but this, I use mils. So you may hear microns, which is also European uh, standard. So 5.0. The paint is not going to be the same all the way across the panel. So it, 
like you, you should see some consistency results. 4.2, 4 .0, 4 .0, 4 .0, 4 4.8, 4.7, 4.3. So overall, it's fairly consistent except for a little few areas. Now, if I come down here and measure this, I got 10.0. That's a big jump. So if I want to kind of compare to see if all the doors look like that. I can go around to the other side. Measure this door over here. I got 4.8 on that door. So that tells me that this panel has been repainted. This door has been repainted. Compare those panels to the rest of the car. So you just go around and take measurements. And if you see something that just kind of just measurement just shoots way up, that's indication because what happens is when the car is painted they don't remove all the old paint there may be body fillers they just repaint over the door fit it or sand it down a little bit repaint over it what's there then put fillers you know bondo all that kind of stuff so this will help you detect some of that stuff it only meant this Particular one only measures metals, so uh, aluminum is steel. So if you're in the market for like a car, fiberglass car, carbon fiber, non-metallic material, this won't work for it. So just save your money or spend the big bucks and get the other uh, paint thickness gauge. This one runs about 70 bucks, the non-metal gauge several hundreds of dollars so this is a comparison but anyway this is the things you should look for when you looking for a used car i know we like to check the engine the mechanical stuff but also you know if you're looking for the appearance and it may not things may not be reported on the car facts so you want to do the gaps the fender gaps or not the fender gaps but the panel gaps shade of the panels and then the texture so those are just three things you just see without any special so that's the tip of the day peace